Right, so what I'd like to do now is to derive the equations which describe a plug flow reactor. And by a plug flow reactor, we're talking about uh, a tubular reactor. And it's, it's, a, it's a, actually a specific case of a tubular reactor. Uh, I'll explain that in a bit more detail shortly. But we've got flow uh, along a tube here, and we've got a, a volumetric flow rate of q meters cubed per second and we're going to consider uh, a reactant component A and that has uh, a concentration of Ca moles per cubic meter uh, at any, uh, any given point. So that's the flow into our tube. And we can say that the molar flow rate of A in moles per second is equal to the volumetric flow rate multiplied by the concentration. So that gives you Fa is the molar flow rate of A uh, in moles per second. Uh, and while uh, Q is constant across the tube, which we shall discuss shortly, uh, Ca and therefore Fa will vary with, with distance along here. And we're going to consider the distance travelled as, as x. So at the inlet, x equals 0. At the outlet there, x equals L, which is the, the length of the tube. So let's just state uh, the assumptions. So the first one is that we've got perfect radial mixing. So what do we mean by that? What we mean is that the composition, the velocity, the temperature, etc., is the same across the whole of the diameter of the tube. So conditions concentration at the centre of the tube there is the same as the concentration close to the wall at the same value of x. We're also going to assume that we have no axial mixing. So that means as fluid flows along here, material at that point x doesn't mix with any of the material ahead of it, and it doesn't mix with any of the material behind it. This is the definition of plug flow, so that the material flows along here as a, as a plug of material. Uh, there's no f forward and backward mixing, and conditions r right across the radius uh, are, are the same. So that's what, that's what we mean by, by plug flow. It's a continuous device, a continuous sort of reactor, and we're going to assume that we've uh, reach steady state so that the conditions are not varying with time and we're also going to assume uh, that we have constant density so the density of the material at the inlet is the same as, as it is at the outlet and it's the same uh, across the, the length uh, of the reactor okay and we're, we're going to we're going to do the derivation now based on a uh, a small section of the reactor. So we're going to take a little segment of the reactor and that that segment we're going to say has got a, a length of to x. So we've got that's distance x, and that point would be x plus delta x. So we're going to do a, a material balance across that section. We'll need to define the reaction rate. Um, so Ra is the reaction rate of component A, and that's expressed in moles per cubic meter per second. Uh, because uh, in this case, A... Uh, is a starting material which which is being consumed, and RA would a, would actually have a, a negative value. So 
Let's do the material balance using the usual equation. So it's input minus output plus generation equals accumulation. So what goes into this segment is equal to what comes out of this segment plus the generation term. So what's 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 reacting in there to, to change the concentration. Uh, and the, the sum of those three terms equals the accumulation, but the accumulation is zero because it's a steady state process, no variation with time. So there's no buildup of material. So the, the input, if we consider now the molar flow rate of our component A, so the input is Fa at x minus the output, which is Fa at x plus delta x plus the generation. So that's the rate of uh, that's the reaction of A. Uh, the reaction is is expressed in moles per cubic meter per second. So at least we need to multiply by the volume. So the volume of this segment is the uh, length times the cross-sectional area. We're going to define cross-sectional area as A. So it's RA times A times delta X. And that is equal to zero. So I can just rearrange that slightly. We say that R times A times delta x is equal to f a x plus delta x minus f a at x and that is equal to we can rewrite that as just delta f a um, and then we can divide by delta x and a um, we just say then that Ra is equal to 1 over A, the cross-sectional area, multiplied by delta Fa over delta X. And as delta X tends to 0, then that is equal to 1 over A times DFA by DX. Uh, we can rewrite this equation um, in terms of concentration. So we can put this expression up here for uh, the concentration. So we can, we can actually rewrite that as RA is equal to an FA we can uh, substitute um, as Q times uh, CA, so it's D by DX of Q times CA. But Q is constant, so that then becomes Q over A times DCA by DX. And furthermore, we can, um, they've got the, the volumetric flow rate there divided by the area, which, uh, which is the same as the, as the velocity of our, of our fluid. So we can say that is U, where U is the velocity, times DCA by DX. And that's the basic equation uh, which describes a, a plug flow reactor.